There are some people that don't get the profound results from HRT and the reason is this. There are many things that contribute to your symptoms of perimenopause and menopause and lifestyle modifications, exercise, diet, gut microbiome, having enough protein, having enough fiber, making sure you're able to get good rest and controlling your cortisol is just as important. HRT is only one piece of the puzzle of lifestyle modifications to help you through your perimenopause menopause transition. So not having the results you wanted with HRT means that there was something else that probably needed to be addressed. Now, if you are low in estrogen and your estrogen is not up there, there are things like you could become insulin resistant because you desperately need that estrogen. There are things like your bone density could suffer and you wouldn't necessarily know. Our hormones decrease and change. We are more likely to get sarcopenia, which means muscle loss. We are more likely to have bone density issues. And this is why those lifestyle modifications matter. So we need to start walking, we need to start sleeping, we need to start breathing, we need to lift weights three times a week. And all these lifestyle modifications are annoying and I get it. I am currently walking and I have a headache. However, I feel better when I move and I also take HRT and I am not unlike you. When I started taking HRT, I didn't have an immediate profound effect like some people did. But then I had to look at my life and change some things. And now I am slowly crawling out of that hole. And even though I have this knowledge, the same things can happen to me that happened to you. Hit the plus sign and follow for more women's health and wellness tips.